This week, the Minister of Supply announced that Egypt has a five months rations of cooking oil and wheat, along with four months of sugar supply in stock. Confirming that there is no crisis, he declared that the Central Bank of Egypt has set aside $1.8 billion to cover the import expenses of basic goods for six more months. The government is blaming traders for causing the recent sugar shortage that has caused the prices to triple in the past few days. Experts say the government too shares responsibility for this crisis. You have the problems of exchange rate and uh, introducing new uh, tax such as VAT. You are going to restructure the market within new uh, variables. Due to inefficiency in the market, you, you can find such shortage in this product because uh, producers they would like to secure themselves they would like uh, maybe to benefit from the situation if they have old stock and would like to uh, benefit from increasing of prices egypt relies heavily on imports to meet its needs before sugar scarcity there was a shortage in rice that's beside a long list of other products as electronic devices and cigarettes the gap between the government's exchange rates and the black markets is nearly doubling. Analysts believe if the situation persists, more products will run out from the market. It is a first priority for policymakers in Egypt. It should be to specify the real exchange rates and to manage the stabilization of exchange rate for the coming period. And uh, as long as this period is expanding of having the uncertainty of exchange rate, I believe this could affect seriously uh, the economic situation of Egypt. In an attempt to show its control over the market, the government has been releasing daily updates, announcing that it's confiscating hundreds of tons of sugar, which traders are hoarding. But the government initiative has not been convincing to many. On Thursday, the government threatened to use harsher measures. If traders continue to influence such shortages, it will impose a fixed profit margin on all strategic goods, such as wheat, sugar, rice and cooking oil. But economists are urging it to focus on the root cause of the problem and not the symptoms. That is its insistence on unrealistic forex rates. Adel Mahroui, CCTV, Cairo.